Hello, my name is Harry Eyre and I'm studying Business Management with Business Analytics at Leeds Beckett University. This vlog will be on understanding markets and customers of Tesco. It also looks into the linkage between the customer needs and marketing strategy which reflect the needs of the customer. It also shows that in current ever-changing and challenging markets, companies with different backgrounds have to adopt different marketing strategies to get the advantage over their competitors. First, I will begin to explain a little bit about Tesco. Here are a few interesting facts. They were founded over 97 years ago by Jack Cohen, who started the business when he started to sell groceries in East London. This was in 1919. The first day's profit was £1. Now Tesco's have 6,092 stores as of September 2016 and over 476,000 employees. Stakeholders are a certain group of people that have an interest in a business. Each group have their own interest in that business. Tesco's has many stakeholders. They are as follows. Shareholders, customers, employees, the government, local community, suppliers, finances and pressure groups. Tesco stock a number of products both in stores and online. A few areas they stock products in will come up on the next slide. However, they stock over 90,000 products which is far too many to list now. Tesco has a few direct and indirect competitors. For the last few years, the grocery market has been hit by a classic squeeze middle effect. Waitrose are at the top and Aldi and Lidl at the bottom who are, have been growing at the expense of everyone in the middle, especially Tesco's. Tesco's traditional competitors are usually Sainsbury's, Morrison's and Asda. To ensure their market share, Tesco needs to consider the marketing environment. Organisations that place the customer at the heart of all business decisions are said to embrace the marketing concept. Those that embrace the marketing concept are said to be marketing orientated. Benefits of marketing, marketing orientation include increase in sales, increase in market share, increase in profitability, satisfied customers, increase in number of loyal and existing customers, attraction of new customers and enhanced reputation. Marketing is a philosophy, not merely a function of business. The marketing concept places the customer at all at the heart of all business decisions. Having a marketer orientation means understanding current and future customers' needs and wants in order to develop distinctive, usually profitable products and services that offer value for the customer. The world and customer needs are constantly changing and evolving, which is why every company needs to have a marketing strategy. Tesco's marketing strategy focuses on one thing, its customers. A year ago, Tesco was in a crisis, having just reported a £6.3 billion loss. Yet, a new marketing strategy turned Tesco's around. The strategy focused on one thing, communicating with and focusing on its customers. The marketing strategy involved analysing the market and determining which products to offer and the range of its customers. Tesco soon returned to profit. It grew like for like sales for the first time in three years. This dramatic turnaround was down to one thing, a focus on customers. The customer is Tesco's number one priority. All listed above was created and shaped by a strong marketing strategy. Every business needs to adopt a workable marketing strategy so that they can achieve competitive advantages over their rivals and generate higher sales and profits successfully. A good marketing philosophy is by Brassington and Pettit. The quote on the next slide is a good example of how Tesco's focused on customers and its employees delivering excellent customer service so customers continue to return to Tesco's for their weekly shop or products. The marketing philosophy worked for Tesco. There are a couple of important marketing theories. Theory 1 above focuses on macro and micro environments. Businesses are affected by lots of different things 
a business's marketing environment is made up of all things that will affect the way it operates. Some of the factors in a business marketing environment can be controlled by the businesses, but some are uncontrollable. Businesses need to understand their marketing environment so that they can make the most of positive factors and manage the impact of negative factors. A business's marketing environment can be split into two parts, macro environment and micro environment. Macro environment meaning forces which shape opportunities and threats, i.e. demographics, cultural and economic factors. Micro environment meaning factors in the immediate environment, i.e. suppliers, customers and, and competitors. Theory 2 focus on consumer behaviour. Consumer behaviour allows a business to understand who the customer is, the stages a customer goes through before purchasing products or services and why they need the product. Why a customer buys a product, i.e. need, why a customer does not buy a product, i.e. no need, income, budget, taste. When the customer purchases products, a festive season, birthday, anniversary, there are in, in fact several factors which influence buying decisions of a customer, ranging from psychological, social, economical, as explained in the diagram on the next slide. The study of consumer behaviour explains why and why not a customer buys a product. Whilst researching the market of Tesco, I found the following interesting facts. This, the supermarket suffered huge losses recently. This was probably due to the rising popularity of discount stores such as Aldi and Lidl, as well as a change in shopper habits to online shopping or user, using small local shops has made the market even tougher. Over the past year, Tesco has made a series of changes aimed at winning customers back. All part of the new marketing strategy, i.e. focuses on the customer's needs. The supermarket has increased the number of staff in its stores, allowing it to claim that it will open a new checkout for a customer if there is more than one person queuing in front of them. Michael McKetry, Tesco's group brand director, said, We got to the point where we had too many products and it was actually interfering with people's ability to make choices, so we pulled products that were basically redundant. Part of Tesco's new strategy is to make its staff brand advocates, i.e. ensure consumers are shown own brand products. Focused on building the brand from the inside out, Tesco have also tried to differentiate itself from competitors by moving away from advertising price deals on certain products, instead trying to build a brand, personality and take a humorous tone. All of the above are down to a robust marketing strategy which is based on the theories and needs of the customer.